today we're going to take this footage here and we're going to turn it into that blockbuster orange teal look. It's not going to take that long at all. This is the new Adobe Premiere Pro uh, CC 2015.3. It's the newest version with the updated Lumetri color uh, effect over here. So to get this, in case you're not aware, you just come up to Window, move over to Workspaces, and down to Color, and then you'll have everything set up right here. Anyway, right into it, what we have to do here is we have this footage. Um, I'll link to the source in the description. I'm going to take one of my LUTs for my upcoming LUT pack, by the way, a little plug. Next couple days, I'll have a video coming out on that. So anyway, it's going to be a quick uh, transformation LUT. Um, I call them utility LUTs, so we're going to move them from uh, none right here. We go to basic correction, change it from none, and then 2709. And as you can see, that added a little bit of saturation and some contrast back into the footage. I'm going to take the midtones, and you can see up here, that's the orange. So what I want to do is come over here, and the opposite is going to be that teal color. So let's go ahead and drag the midtones down into that teal. Now what we don't want to do is pull too far into the teal because we want to basically, I guess for lack of a better word, is kind of give it the suggestion of teal. We don't want to actually have everything transform into a teal color. Because the next step that we're going to take is we're going to do a secondary where we're going to select his skin color and bring it back to an orange color. However, if we just saturate the heck out of it, bring everything to teal, it's going to be extremely difficult to bring it back to that color. So we're going to bring it to right to this level. We're going to bring teal to about where it is right now. Now we can always make the adjustments later. So let's go ahead and do a side by side. This is with that little push that we gave it. That's with it off. And back on again. And you know what? I'm just going to do it a little bit more. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And the closer we are to the outside of that circle, the more saturated that teal is going to be. All right, and that's gonna, going to be fine for now. So let's go ahead and drill that down, go to secondary, and let's go ahead and focus on his skin. So what I'm going to do first is change this from color gray to color black, and I'll tell you why in a second. Let's come over here, change this to the scopes. Uh, that's exactly what we want. If you right click, it's the vector scope YUV. And this will basically tell you what, these are all the colors of the color wheel. And right here is what we're most interested in. So this is what they call the skin tone line. So we're basically focusing on this right here. And here's cyan right here. So you can see it right there. So the teal, again, it's going to be one right across from another here. So having said that, I'm going to come here. Let's uh, pick a color in the skin. Let's highlight this. And then what I'm going to do is expand this just a little bit. Actually, what I want to do is add color. Let's come here and add color. Put that on his leg. Now we pretty much have the color that we want. Uh, so what I'll suggest now is moving stuff like saturation. And what we can do is a quick analysis here. So if we uncheck this, and we look at his leg, we can see it's less saturated here, which is basically what this is showing. And it's a little bit dark. So we can probably come over here into the lightness, because that's hue, which is the color, saturation, and the uh, lightness there. So let's bring the lightness down, because as you can obviously see, that's a little bit dark. So we'll go back here. I'm going to expand this out just a little bit. Let's slide this back a little bit. As you can see, we're losing the other part of his leg now. So let's go ahead and drag this out. And like I said, generally I get in the ballpark of where I want it with the hue, and that's perfectly fine. I would rather touch these because once you start messing with the hue, you start introducing a lot more of the scene. As you can see here, obviously, is introducing some lights over here and a couple other parts of the scene. Um, but it's not as obvious, I guess I should say, is if you were to take this and, and spread it out. We may still do that in this case, but the um, best thing to do is try to encompass everything with both the uh, saturation and the lightness. So let's bring this a little bit more. 
And if you notice right here, it's not moving any longer. That's because it's reached its limit. It's basically as far as it's going to go. But as a better explanation, if you grab the middle here, we can slide it now. What I'm trying to say is if I slide this white line right into the middle, it's going to encompass both sides here. But we don't want that yet. Let's just see if we can get this into a good spot. It's time to take up more of his face. Might have to come down here to the lightness. All right, and that seems to have reached its limit, so let's bring the middle here. Now, as you can see over here, it started, started to introduce other colors that we don't want, which is sort of that maroon color, which is what I was talking about before. So let's go ahead and slide this. Get that out of there. One last thing I'm going to do, too, is it's picking up uh, some things on his pants here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my remove color. Come over here. All right, and that's a lot better. I know it's affected part of his face, but that's sort of what I was looking for. Um, let's go ahead and drag this out just a little bit more. Okay, and right there we may have to make a compromise. As you can see, we're pretty much taking care of his legs. We got most of his face and his hands. Um, so not to uh, keep on about this, obviously we can refine it a lot more. Let's go ahead and I'll tell you right now, this, this stuff like this will be obvious, especially if you're doing such a big push and pull. If everything is going to, going to be teal, you'll definitely, definitely see that this is going to be a different color. So let's go ahead and blur that just a little bit. So let's move this to 2.5. Okay, and I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and uncheck this. And then I'm going to come down here. And this is what we're gonna use for the correction. I'm gonna come over here, start pushing it up towards the orange. All right, and you can see what it did there. Now let's go ahead and go to color and black and check where we are on the vector scope. Let me slide this out a little bit. Okay, now you can kind of see what I was doing before. Anything that's black is going to be right here in the middle. Uh, for what it's worth, anything white is also going to be in the middle. But right here, we have the skin tone, so you can see how it's right on that skin tone line. So we're pretty much where we want to be. Now, I know it might be a little bit too saturated, but we're going to compensate for that. Okay, so we were working on the clip over here. Now I'm going to go over here to the master to make some additional adjustments and that's because really we only have the one clip. Uh, otherwise you don't necessarily want to do this. You might want to add a second instance of the lumetri color. Uh, but in this case, what I'm going to do is we're going to adjust the teal and sort of do exactly what we did just the opposite direction. So now that we've pushed everything towards that teal color, let's first saturate this a little bit. Bring that up, maybe 120 for right now. I'm gonna close basic correction, come down to secondary. Let's go ahead and pick a color. Let's move over to here. All right, and let's go ahead and slide these out. Now it's starting to pick up a little bit of the blue. So what I wanna do is go ahead and slide this this way. Now, as you can see here, we've got most of the scene encompassed with our color. Now, if I did more of a push towards the uh, teal sort of cyan, we would be able to, uh, most of it would be covered, but this is sufficient in our case. As you can see, his face isn't selected. Any of his skin tone or his pants, which were relatively close, uh, are not being affected, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna leave it in color black, and you can see over here, it's kind of pushing a little towards the blue there. I mean, there might be a little towards cyan, but that, that's very minimal. It's, it's mostly seeing blue. So let's come down to the correction wheel here. Let's see if we can get it lined up there. The biggest part of it we want right on this line over here, crossing the, the skin tone line near the red. So I'm going to bring this down, make it really saturated so we can sort of see what we're doing here. 
and it might look a little saturated on your screen here, but as you can see, it's not without outside the legal limits here. Um, you can always obviously do it by eye, but this line right here, uh, it's still within its limits. So let's go ahead and undo this. So now you can see the footage here. This is the before and this is the after. So in a few steps, you can take your footage, go ahead and add the contrast and saturation back in, select which portion of the footage that you want to change. Again, we want to push everything towards that teal first, not where we want to put a color cast over everything because that will just make our secondary portion a little bit hotter. But of course, we want to push it a little towards one direction, Go ahead and there, pick up the secondaries, go ahead and push them back towards orange, maybe saturate it up a little bit, and then finesse it 